In this video, I will be demonstrating the call hold MVP and Centrex feature. And call hold is, as Evan Doorbell aptly describes, the calling feature that nobody ever really figured out quite how to use. So what is call hold? First of all, what is call hold not? It is not consultation hold, three-way calling, add-on conference, which, you know, basically all refer to the same or similar things. When you make a three-way call, you put the party you're speaking with on hold, loosely on hold, I'll say, and you dial another number and then you can conference the two calls together which contrasts with call waiting where you receive an incoming call and you can flip back and forth between the two calls but they're never conferenced together unless you have call waiting deluxe and you use the conference feature which i have demonstrated previously in the call waiting deluxe feature video now that behavior of call waiting the, the regular behavior is is similar to, is, is more similar, I should say, at least compared to three-way calling, to what call hold actually is. It allows you to flip back and forth between two calls without ever conferencing them. And so that contrasts, obviously, to three-way calling. So with call hold, you might make one outgoing call, and then you might want to make another outgoing call in without call hold, if you just had consultation hold, three-way calling, right? You would make that call, and then if you flash your switch hook, then you conference those two calls together, which is precisely what call hold does not do. Call hold allows you to keep those calls separate as many times as you flip back and forth between them. So it's useful for if uh, you need to talk to two people at the same time, but separately, right? So you're never you're never all in the same call at once. So that's what call hold is. Now with call waiting, which is probably the more interesting intersection of call hold with other calling features, when you get a call waiting, and of course Evan describes this in his Centrex Quirks of 83 Part 1 recording, which is very much worth a listen if you have not heard that already. Um, I'll link that in the, the description. But um, with call waiting, when you receive a call waiting, when you answer, you're not connected, or when you flash your switch hook, I should say, you're not connected with the other party. Instead, you get a recall dial tone, and you dial the call hold code, and then you're connected to the other party. And to flip back and forth, without call hold, you would simply flash your switch hook. With call hold, you flash your switch hook, and then you have to dial the call hold code again. So first of all, the call hold code, again, um, just through, um, I mean, uh, basically the call hold code is, it, it's not a standard code. It's not like, I mean, it's similar to other Centrix codes in that it would vary uh, Centrix to Centrix. Uh, MVP, the call hold code was, I think it was star 8, I want to say. It was either star 8 or star 9, and I, I know what it is, I just don't remember it off the top of my head. Um, but MVP lines on my switch, you know, would be one of the two, and, and the other is call pickup. The call hold code in my Centrex, because um, I don't actually have any MVP lines, they're all mostly Centrex. The call hold code is 111, which if you listen to the Evan Doorbell uh, series for Centrex quirks, that was the Centrex code for call hold in Less's Exchange, which may or may not be the reason that it is also the call hold code in my Centrex customer group, but that is neither here nor there. So now we will do a demonstration of using call hold with two separate calls on an outgoing call. So I'm going to be using this phone primarily um, for no other reason than it has a built-in speakerphone, so that's useful for demonstration purposes. 
and I will call, uh, let's see, I will call a direct distance dialing test number, which usually doesn't supervise, but I have a number that plays that recording that does supervise, just because uh, my switch does not allow you to get a recall dial tone if you make an outgoing call that does not supervise, so it, it will not let you get a recall dial tone until the call supervises, so that's basically why it's set up like that. And then I will flash and dial another number, which should be familiar for those who have heard uh, the Centrex Perks tapes. Okay, so now I'm going to flash, and I got recalled dial tone, and I get another recall dial tone. So this is a separate call, now if I flash again, I get another recall dial tone, I can dial the call hold code again. So that's the end of that. Okay, so that was demonstrating call hold on an outgoing call. I went back and forth between them multiple times and they never got conferenced together because you never heard both of them at the same time. Now if I had not used the call hold code, if I had just dialed, um, if I had just uh, flashed my hook and then dialed the other number directly without prefacing it with the call hold code and getting a recall dial tone again, then that would have been a three-way conference call, not using call hold. Again, a very slight difference. Um, it's, it's, it's a little subtle, but uh, it makes a big difference in that uh, completely changes the behavior of, of what happens next. All right, now I'm going to demonstrate call hold in conjunction with call waiting. So I'm going to dial the last number that I called here, and then I'm going to use this phone to give myself a call waiting here, and we'll see what happens. Same way to flash, get a recall dial tone. Hello. Hello. Testing. Okay, so I've just uh, answered my call waiting. Obviously, I had to dial the call hold code first. And I want to switch back to the other person. Get another recall dial tone and dial the call hold code again. Okay, so as you can see and hear, it is basically like regular call waiting, really. The only difference is that instead of flashing, you have to flash and dial the call hold code again. Because every time you flash, you get a recall dial tone, pretty much. So the call waiting is not 
too different from normal call waiting. Indeed, that's sort of the idea, is that that's how you make call waiting uh, work in conjunction with call hold. Um, but yeah, that's that. So that's basically how the call hold feature works. And as Evan Doorbell has said, it's, it's the feature that nobody really figured out how to use. But once you understand it, it's really not that complicated. You just have to understand how the feature works and how it interacts with other features, how it's different from three-way calling. And then it's actually a really useful feature to have.